Now, Jennifer Lawrence, she might have had a little bit of a slip up at the Oscars, but she still has great legs. And I'm gonna show you today how to get those legs. So we're gonna start on your feet together, and we're just gonna squat out to the side, sort of like a side lunge squat. And we've got 24 of these alternating on each leg. So we've got 12 on each leg. You've done four. Now I played hockey two days ago and I'm feeling really stiff. So if I don't look as flexible as normal, that's why. It's not because I'm not trying hard. I can just really feel my glutes, my hamstrings, and my quads are super tight. I couldn't even sit down yesterday. It was that painful. Okay, keep it going. That's it, really squat down, feel it in that inside leg, feel it in those glutes. Keep it going. You've just got four more. That's it, do one more. And just shake those legs out. Okay, now I want you to pick up your dumbbells. If you haven't got dumbbells, then you can just use like tin cans of food. It does just as good a job. And I just want you to put your feet more than shoulder width apart. And your dumbbells or your tin cans are going to be in front of you. And I just want you to squat down. Keep that back nice and straight. I'm going to do 15. Oh, I can feel it in my glutes every single time I come up to the top. Okay, really squeeze. Keep that back nice and straight. Try not to arch it or put your head forward. Just keep that spine nice and straight. Okay, keep going. Keep breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. Great job, everyone. Come on, keep it going. We are toning up those legs. Five to go. Four. Count with me. Two. And your last one. And really squeeze it as you get to the top. Okay, we're going to hold on to those dumbbells. And I just want your feet probably hip width apart. Just going to hold the dumbbells to your side. And we're just going to slowly raise up and then come down. Just doing slow calves raises, okay? We've got 15. Now taking it nice and slow. Now I want you to see that I'm not going to go all the way down with my heels. I'm not going to completely touch the ground. You just want to hover them about half an inch above. And it might not look like much of an exercise, but it really is going to be strengthening up those calf muscles. You can see mine are super tight. They were really cramping up on Sunday. I didn't drink enough water. That's my problem. And if you do get cramp in your calves, the best thing to have before you do any exercise is something like a banana. Okay, four to go. That's it, keep that back nice and straight. Two. And your last one. Slowly taking it down. Ooh, I can really feel my calves are so tight. Okay, keeping those dumbbells in the same position. And I just want you to lunge backwards and back together. We've got 12 on each leg. Let's do one leg at a time. Keep your back nice and straight. Those arms straight, holding onto the dumbbells. Okay, keep it going, guys. Come on. You should be really feeling it in those quads now. Five to go. Keep it going, guys. Three. Two. Come on, squeeze. Last one. Okay, let's swap it straight over onto the other leg. No rest in between. Whew. I tell you what, I haven't played hockey for about five years. You know, this is field hockey, okay? Keep lunging with me, I'm going to tell you my story. You know, this is field hockey. I know in America you think of hockey as on ice skates and skating, but this is just on normal AstroTurf pitch. And I haven't played for about five years. And you've got five more of these to go. And I tell you what, it really was a shock to my body. I had a great time doing it. Great sport. Okay, come on, two more. And the last one. Okay, give those legs a shake again. Now, coming back to similar where we were on the calf raises, I want your 
Dumbbells in front of you, a slight bend in your knee, and we're just gonna come forward and then come back up again. Now, I can't move much today because my legs are really sore, but it's just a small motion, okay? You've got 10 of these, you've done two. Okay, that's it. We really are strengthening out those hamstrings. This feels good to me. It's a good stretch for my legs. Five to go. That's it. Try and keep that back nice and straight. We don't want to arch it. Try not to stick your head forward. Keep that spine nice and neutral. Okay, come on, give me one more. Make it count. Okay, now you can put those dumbbells down. Give your arms a bit of a shake. Now this one I know is going to be painful because I've been trying it out this morning and it's really good for stretching out those legs. So we're going to take it back one at a time as if you're going to do a start position in a race and then I want you to come up without touching the floor and bring your knee up, okay? So you've got 10 on each side. Now it's really good for your balance too. And if you are struggling, and you can just bring it here and then bring the knee up. But if you can do it all in one motion, it's going to be even better. Halfway through on this leg. Can you feel the burn, guys? I can feel it in my legs. Three more. Two more. Whew. Keep it going. And your last one. God, I feel my legs about to give way. Okay, let's swivel over to the other leg. That came just in time. 10 again on this side. So we really want a big lunge, okay? It's not just a normal lunge, it's a lot wider, as if we are gonna start for that sprint. Can you feel it? Can you feel the burn, you're halfway. I can definitely feel it in my leg. You can see I'm starting to wobble, but it's okay. You can just put your leg down if you need to. Two more. Last one. Make this one count. Okay, your last exercise. Now I want you to put your feet as if you're in first position in the ballet class. And I want you to step out to the side. Your legs are going to be more facing a 45 degree than straight forward. And I just want you to plie down. We have 12 on each side. Okay, it's your last exercise, guys. So let's make sure we keep going all the way to the end. You really are going to see the results if you get through each workout. That's what they're designed to do. Designed to work out all those muscles in our legs. Okay, keep it going. You've got five to go on this leg. Four. Count down with me. That's the best thing to do is count down. When you know you've only got three left to go. Two. Last one on this leg. Okay, let's take it out to the other side. That's it, we're just gonna give an extra, extra effort on these guys. Credit points, if you can keep finishing all the way to the end. Okay, so you wanna think about, when you go out to the side, you're bending both legs. In the beginning, it was more of a side lunge. We had one leg straight, but we're keeping these, both knees bent. Five to go. And then you can have your rest. Four. Three. I'm gonna looking forward to my rest after this last one. All the way down, all the way up. Bring it in and then shake those legs out. Whew. Okay, well that was a definitely a great exercise too. If you're feeling like really stiff, you might have done a really big run and your muscles are feeling a bit tight. Best thing to do is really stretch them out. Whew, and that also will me out too. X here has got so many more videos for you. You can subscribe to the channel. You can hit this link, which is going to sign you up for the newsletter. My name's Rebecca Louise. You can follow me on Twitter, at The Model Pilot. It's been fantastic working out with you today, and I hope that you work out with me again soon.